everybody, Kumusta kayo lahat? Welcome to Filipinos and Basketball Pinoy Crossover. We are here. We got James on my right. We got Justin on my left. He's my brother, by the way. And he hosts a podcast called At DM's Podcast. The DM's Podcast. We talk about love and relationships, but today we're going to be talking about the love of basketball. Definitely. Ball is life in this situation. James, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. That's good. Ready to talk about sports. <laughs> that, hey, that's what we're here for. What we're going to do first in this segment is we're going to look at three highlights. I picked them. I don't think these guys have seen the highlights. So we're just going to react to these videos. So let's pull up the first video of the playoffs. Let's go. All right. So what we have is, is a Giannis play. We got, ooh, we got a steal. And what is he going to do? Oh. I jump off the free throw line. Jumps man. from the free throw. Let's look, let's look at that. In slow mo. Oh, Dwayne Casey. Did he spike the ball after? Ooh. This guy's a freak of nature. Oh my the Greek like, I've never freak. seen someone like this. Like I dribble the ball. I can... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that though. Woo. Man is the Greek freak. What do you think about that highlight right there? Let's start with James. Uh, I, what do you think about that? I, like Giannis is like something else. I've never seen someone like him. Like back in Greece, he used to play point guard. That's the reason why he's like this. Mm -hmm. So to be like he was a scrawny kid, and now with muscle and all this probably squatting too much, that's why he's jumping off the feet throw. But yeah. this guy is something else. So watch out. Like, the next two years, maybe now he's MVP candidate. Maybe he's going to be solid MVP the next two years or three years, man. MVP. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's, everyone's really saying that. Yeah. And Justin, what do you think about that highlight? Well, this just shows, because um, recently there's been news that Giannis declined LeBron James's Space Jam offer. Mm. And maybe the reason why is because Giannis can do it better than LeBron. He can dunk better than LeBron. He can jump off the free throw better than LeBron. And this just shows. But I think it's also cheating because he's really long. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you seen those really tall guys that can just dunk like this? Yeah. So it, find, it kind of feels like it's more easier for the Oh, that's kind of like a Space Jam with Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah. That. There we go. <laughs> what are they going to call Space Jam? Space Greek. Space Giannis. Greek. Space <laughs> Greek. Space <laughs> Greek. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the second highlight. This is James Harden, your boy. You're talking about MVP. He's another MVP yeah. candidate. Let's check this out. All right, he's bringing up the ball out of the court. This is dangerous. One-on-one -on -one with James Harden. Uh-oh, don't. What the? <laughs> the Spanish guy. GPS. <laughs> Where was he going? <laughs> but he missed it. Oh, man. He missed that. Let's check it again. Look at that move, though. The He's snatch very lead back. the stadium, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. He's doing oh. some line dancing over there. But it didn't go in. But definitely, it's a crazy play. What do you think about that move? Uh, that, that was basically, like, a low-key disrespectful. Mm -hmm. But in the... Like the nicest way. It's like, I don't <laughs> like you, mean? but shake my hand. Kind of like that. <laughs> but, uh, I don't like you, but I'll shake your hand. Okay. <laughs> and Justin, what do you think about that play? The thing that amazes me about that play is with James Harden, we know he's going to make those shots. It's the way he cha-chas and shoulder shimmies, you know? I feel like he, he practiced zats and drills. In the Houston practice gym, he's shimmying instead because he knows he's going to make those shots. And that, was, that crossover and pullback as a whole was amazing. Do you think he was just really surprised? Because he missed it. Like you, like you said, you, you know he's going to make a shot, but he unfortunately didn't make that shot, that one. He probably didn't care about the shot. He cared about how much he looked when he was <laughs> shimmying, you know? It's the same thing with Wesley, Math I mean, Wesley Johnson. When he, Wesley Johnson dropped to the floor, and the same thing, but it's freaking... Rubio just went all the way down. It's like a meme video. I think, I think, I think NBA players, low-key, they probably talk to each other like, yo, that's going to be on like Instagram. Yeah. Like, you're probably looking at that. All right, the last, the last playoff highlight that I have to show to you is kind of a sad one because as Toronto, as we're here in Toronto, right. this kind of hurt me. I kind of wanted to cry. And DJ Augustin did it. So here we go. Game on the line. Boom. Guy, yeah, look, look how excited everyone is. This guy oh, had yeah. a good game. This, he's Loki, a good player. Yeah, he's Loki, like he's been around, but he's a Loki, good player. And mm. you know, he's <laughs> <laughs> but that was a magic one. That I don't oh. know. Okay, does he really make those? I don't know. He's a good player. He had, he had, had those, like... he had those games in both, though. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, he had those games in both. I remember back yeah. in the day, like, like you knew he was a shooter, he's a small, like he kind of remind, yeah. reminded me of like Eddie House, like a very like. Trigger release, yeah. But that's just a that's just a sad play. What but do you I'm, think about that? 
Yeah, that was play. a dagger right there. That would, if I was a Raptors fan, I would cry at night. <laughs> that was kind of like yeah, that. And, and you're not, right? Yeah, I'm so, not good to you're not good like, yeah. And yeah. it was like, oh, shoot, another day. <laughs> and what do you think about that? I feel yeah. like he stole Kyle Lowry's powers, yeah. just like Space Jam, mm. and then just killed him after. What did what he score? 20 points? 20 plus? Yeah, he And uh, Lowry some. had that nice egg. Zero. Yeah. There's just like the icing on the cake, the dagger and the wound. Yeah. And he, DJ Augustin, he did it. Out of those highlights, which one did you like the best? Or which one do you think deserves to stay, I guess? Well, it's always... Well, we're going to see more of Giannis because of the way he jumped from the feeder line. It's, it's a, he's a freak of nature. I've never, like, he, I've never seen a player just like him. There's mm. Mike, Magic Johnson, obviously, Ron, but he was just different. He has the height, he has the thing, but with uh, DJ Augustine, you're going to see that for the next few weeks, but I think Giannis will stay until the like, next two or five years just to see, to show people that he is a freak of nature. Yeah, definitely. He'll probably yeah. make his own. He'll probably make his own movie. He's making movie like <laughs> like highlights right now. And I, I had to choose different highlights. And there was yeah. one where I took out. It was when him just posterizing Thon Maker. Yeah. He literally, he just caught it and just boom. Yeah, just a normal like a normal day in the office. Yeah. Him. yeah, exactly. Just checked in, checked out. <laughs> and what what highlight did you like the best? I'm I'm also Giannis because mm, yeah. he's only 25 years old, Ooh. and he's gonna be making more highlights just like this. He's gonna have more people below his knees, and he's going to be jumping above the free throw line, yeah. slamming and slamming and making more highlights. So I can't wait for that, and that's why I feel like that highlight yeah. is, like, amazing. Below his knees, that kind of sounds kind of... Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, jumping it, over people. Yeah, yeah like, jumping over people. Yeah, yeah. Only okay. 25. That's true. That's Oh, he's younger than me. Yeah, he's exactly. making a lot more money. Yeah, and making... Means, we're... 10 million short. <laughs> <laughs> 10 million short or something some, like that. Some height short. Out of those teams, what, Matt, what uh, games is the most entertaining for you? For me, for me Rockets and Utah, mm -hmm. I'm not really entertained because of because basically two teams, two same teams. Yeah. It's um, Harden, Donovan Mitchell are the same. Gorbear and um, Clint Capella is the same. And then yeah. they have point guards that can pass first. So that's, for me... Um, uh, yeah, it's, for me, yeah. Rockets in Utah, it's kind of like, yeah. but uh, what about you guys? What do you guys think? Uh, I, for me, I liked, uh, I liked the Raptors, obviously, yeah. because, you know, you, it's yeah. always that, that hanging question, like, is Kawhi going to stay or not? Yeah. So you kind of want the Raptors to do as best as you can in order to, yeah, like, exactly. keep Kawhi, even everyone's saying, like, he's, gonna, he's gone, he's gone. Mm -hmm. So it's that, like, narrative that kind of makes you want to watch the Raptors even more and just look at Kawhi every time he's smiling in the warm-ups <laughs> and stuff. Just please stay. And how about you? What matchup did you like? I second uh, what you said, the Raptors and uh, Orlando matchup. Just because every loss is like, Kawhi's going to leave. Mm -hmm. Kawhi's going to leave every time we lose. And every time we win, we're like, he might stay. Yeah. So that's pretty cool to watch. Even, like, Nick Nurse, too. Every time you guys lose, like, oh, why would he take Nick Nurse over and doing Casey kind of? Yeah. 